Today we're going to learn all about how to focus on that six inches between your ears so you can activate your superpower. So Todd Herman is a performance coach or you could actually call him like a mental guru. He's the guy that they call in in the 11th hour for an athlete that's having a mental breakdown. He comes in, he whips them into shape and helps them perform at their best level. He works with CEOs, entrepreneurs, and leaders all around the world to essentially help them activate their inner superpowers so they could be the best version of themselves. So first let's talk about what is an alter ego. Essentially an alter ego is a defined characteristic. We intentionally pick characteristics, traits of how we would want to show up. And then we activate those traits to become that person. And in this book, Todd talks a lot about how it's totally natural. In fact, a lot of people have alter egos in a very good way that help them be the best version of themselves. In the book, he talks about Beyonce and several other amazing athletes that have all figured out how to activate the superpowers within them. One of the things that you're going to learn in this book is you know, I, I mentioned it earlier, how to take control of that six inches between your ears. We've said it before, I've heard, I'm sure you've heard it in other places, your head is a scary place to be. Well, what does that mean? Um, some people refer to it as the drunk monkey or as Todd describes it, it's the enemy within. What is the enemy within? Well, what he, there's basically three characteristics of the enemy within, but one thing that you need to know is the enemy within is that sinister voice inside your head that shows up to tell you you're not smart enough, you're an imposter, you don't know what you're doing, you were just lucky to get here. Why would anybody wanna to listen to you? You're just a girl, you're just a boy, right? Like it's that voice inside your head that keeps you from doing the things that you know that you're capable of. In fact, Todd talks a lot about the fact that you already know what you need to do but the enemy within is the one that keeps you from figuring out how to show up and be the best version of yourself, or as Todd calls it, to activate your heroic self. How do we find this alter ego? How do we activate it? And how do we overcome the enemy within? Well, that's exactly why you need to read this book. Todd's gonna break it down into very simple strategies to help you figure out who is it that you wanna be and how do you wanna show up? Now, he calls it the field of play. And what he's referring to is how you show up in different moments of your life. So I'll give you a couple for instances. Um, when I'm at work, right? When I show up to work, I, that's my field of play. And I need to be a decisive person. I need to be a tough negotiator because I represent people's, you know, one of their most um, large financial purchases of their life. So I need to be decisive. I need to be a strong negotiator. And I need to have those communication skills that are just spot on. Now, how do I need to show up at home as a mom? If the, play, the, the field of play at home is mom, should I be that like tough negotiator, decisive, just like straight to the point? Probably not. <laughs> In fact, I know that I have tried to show up on the field of play at home like that person and it doesn't go over well with the kids. Who do I need to be at home for my kids? Well, I need to activate the person inside of me that is more playful, compassionate, loving. And so that's exactly what Todd's going to do. He's going to take you through some steps to help you realize who do I want to show up as intentionally, right? If I make calls for a living, who do I need to show up to um, inside to make the best call possible? And how do I show up at home with my family and make sure that I can turn on and off the characteristics that are going to help me achieve my goals? One of my favorite stories in the book is, is um, when he's talking about a principle called enclosed cognition. You'll just have to Google that, but here's what you need to know about enclosed cognition. They've done a bunch of different studies on it, and basically what they did in this particular study that he mentioned is they put kids in a room with a, a panel of locks, and all of the locks had keys, but none of the keys worked for the locks. And they recorded them to see how far the children would go until they got frustrated and gave up. 
So they did that test and they monitored it. Then they decided to dress them up as different superhero characters. So some kids, they put Dora the Explorer, they dressed her up as Dora the Explorer or Batman. And then they gave them the task. They had to open the locks and go as long as they could before they got frustrated. And with just the change of dressing them up like a superhero, Dora, Batman, the kids embodied the characteristics of Batman. And they would say things like, Batman never gets frustrated. Batman never gives up. Now what changed? It's still the same person, right? Still the same child. But the difference was when they dressed up like Batman, they embodied Batman's characteristics. Batman never gives up. He never gets frustrated. Dora is curious and smart and she always finds a way. So this idea of enclosed cognition is a tool that we can use to help, again, activate that heroic self, the person that already exists inside us. In fact, Todd talks a lot about the fact that we already know how to do this. The problem is, is that we grew up and we turned off our imagination and that's really where we got disconnected from that core person inside of us that already exists. So let's talk about some of my favorite quotes from Todd Herman. In fact, if you haven't watched any of the podcasts, just Google him. He's been on quite a few podcasts promoting this book. And every time he's in an interview, he just inspires me to learn more about him and about this idea. But one of the quotes that he talks about in the book is a quote from Cary Grant. He says, I pretended to be somebody I wanted to be until finally I became that person or he became me. I can't express this enough that, um, it's okay to have a person inside of us that has these features that we really want to be and then to figure out what those characteristics are and activate them. In fact, that is going to be our actionable insight for today. The actionable insight that I want you guys to take is I want you to make a list. I want you to make a list of all the characteristics that you wish that you just had at your fingertips, right? Do you wish you were more decisive? Do you wish that uh, you could speak clearly and speak your mind when asked about opinions? Do you wish you were courageous? Do you wish you were strong? What are the characteristics? And then if you can, you can make it really fun. You can tie it to somebody. I don't know when this happened, but a couple years ago, someone said that I reminded them of Wonder Woman. And now you can see from my earrings, now I actually embody some of Wonder Woman's characteristics. When I have to do things where I need to be brave, I do, I think, what would Wonder Woman do? And I have some reminders in my office about what would Wonder Woman do? It seems like she can handle anything, right? Being a mom, not a problem. Being an entrepreneur, not a problem. Being a friend, not a problem. Because I know what Wonder Woman's characteristics are. She's brave, she's loyal, she's courageous, right? She's not afraid to do what's right, always. So that's your assignment, is I want you to write down what are some of the characteristics you wish that you had just at your disposal. And if you can, think of a person, an animal, something, tie them together. And then the next time that you need to, you can think about that and try to activate your heroic self. Now don't do it on your own. Definitely read Todd's book because he's gonna give you step-by-step -step guidance. The last quote that I wanna share from Todd is he says, everything you need already exists within you. And I absolutely believe that. I know that um, inside of me, Wonder Woman was always there. I just needed to figure out how to make her come out. I really hope you guys enjoy this book. I promise that you will love the tactics that he gives you so that you can, you know, really just become the best version of yourself. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Now, if you like this content, make sure to follow us on Instagram, check us out on Facebook, and of course, subscribe to all of our amazing content on YouTube.